Uh, I found that he sustained very serious fractures uh, within the skull and these fractures were both on the left and also on the right and also on the roof, what we call the orbital roof, where we have the eyes, we have a roof there. So this fracture had gone all the way left to the right and also extending to the skull base. Anytime we have a fracture extending to the skull base, that's a very severe injury. Uh, and on top of that, because of those fractures, he sustained intracranial, what we call intracranial bleeding. He bled within the cranium. Uh, and this actually was um, extensive bleeding. Uh, and therefore, I made a conclusion that the cause of death for Hakizimana Jarvis uh, was um, what we call intracranial bleeding due to head injury. And um, this is consistent with a motor vehicle accident. Because we also saw the body before the postmortem, as the doctor said, everything was normal and the fractures and the cause of the death was in the scar. Um, by seeing the body, the, the body was intact, except small accelerations that wouldn't really be a cause of anything. And considering the car, that was found after the accident and the way it was crushed, we were just wondering how can someone come out of such a car and they don't have at least some wounds. Because if you see them outside without uh, entering this car, you wouldn't think that they came from that accident. So.